you're either going to be on a slight incline where you're increasing and getting better or a slight decline. It's very subtle. You know, if you ever get on the, on the slope like that, you're like, whoa, I got to fix it now. But it's that gentle subtleness, that, that, that deception. You're slowly going down, like the frog in the boiling water, as everybody knows about. But more importantly, that if you go 10 miles down the road, can, you know, say 10 miles is a mile per year, and you were to only have one degree difference between down or up, the difference between the positive and the negative is vast in 10 miles. So in 10 years in life, of course, that's the way it is. A lot of people don't show it physically initially, but I did. I showed my physical. It, it was nowhere to hide. I'm so glad because I could have looked healthy and died of a heart attack at 50 and not known. You know, that's another way of deception. So it's just a matter of adjusting. Making a beautiful adjustment from the, the 1% down to the 1% up, that's a 2% difference that in 10 years results in fabulous change. So the rubber hits the road to have the big change when you get the definitive information that you can do. You know, anybody can do a number of things. They can have protocols that are very vast and very, very complicated and, you know, very dense, right? Or you can provide something for everyone that they can do a detox in their body, a true detox of heavy metal removal. All of the things that are built up in the bones, the muscles, the organs, you know, all tissue. And it builds up and builds up and builds up. But you need to empower people and you need to be empowered and I need to be empowered with the simple, definitive, cost-effective things that we can do day in and day out. So the detoxification of all the things I went through, the purges I went through were unbelievable. I had junk coming out of me that stunk so badly and, and caused such a beautiful result afterwards. That, but it was, it was terrifically dramatic. Uh, I, when, when I first heard David Wolf speak about raw food, that just made sense. I was hoping that I would be able to go and prove that he was, you know, not understanding that he was missing it. He had some screws loose. But when I went there, I found out the opposite. And so the raw food, of course, is one way of doing it. But it has to be more than raw food. It has to be whole, live, freshly harvested food that has not been contaminated by all of the air pollution and water pollution in transportation pollution that everything's subjected to. So I met a very cool guy in Toronto. His name is Gino Desario. And the day that I met him was the real beginning of the shift of a big change. And Gino taught me about sprouts and the importance of freshly harvested food and eating it immediately. How the life force energy is within the wheatgrass and with the sunflower sprouts. And so I immediately started on that path right away. And we did that for seven months. We drank wheatgrass juice, 12 ounces a day. I did 12 ounces a day for seven months, approximately. My older sons were doing 16 ounces a day. And that is an extreme type purge. That's like just putting detergent in your body. And, it, and the stuff that came out of me during that time was phenomenal. There were days where I couldn't work. I'd be laying in bed for 24 hours shaking. Well, that's a little bit extreme. Maybe it was what I needed though. But I don't recommend that for everybody because it means you have to grow your own wheatgrass at home. We grew 10 trays a day for the whole family. Everybody got on the wheatgrass. And then we did the sunflower sprouts, which we still do. But we were doing 26,600 sprouts a day. There's 3,800 seeds in each 10 by 20 tray. And we were doing seven trays a day. Six trays, seven trays, depending. And we were eating them constantly, juicing them and putting them in smoothies and putting them in salads. And that became kind of a mono diet. Then we phased out of that and we started to explore more diverse things. And then it all has boiled down to some very simple things now that are much easier, require a lot less labor that anybody can do. Because I, I found when I had people come to my house, they would look at the complexity of what we were doing and say, well, I can't do that. I can't duplicate that. So detoxification, you, you know that one of the biggest problems is this, and people don't understand, but if anybody can do a self-test on themselves to see where they're at in their toxins, and toxins come in many forms, whether it be chemical or metal or rock. Now rocks, think about rocks, that's elements, the periodic table of elements. If you get them imbalanced in your body, they will build up within your muscles. Now I can take my arm here and I can squeeze it and you can see it's nice and limber, right? Up here, I can take my arm and squeeze it, it's nice and limber and thin. Now you, you take your arm and, and just squeeze it right now on the outside up here. 
Squeeze it right out there. I see you got you got thickness there. Squeeze hard and see if you get any pain. Do you get any pain at all? But squeeze hard. Do you feel pain? Even the slightest bit of pain is unacceptable. So what this is how you tell if you're if you have toxins in your body. Now inside of your muscles you have arthritis, and that's a buildup of all the wrong elements. And then the muscles get calcified in between the muscle and the bone, and they adhere to the bone, they get adhesions and different problems. And that is because of all of the different elements that are put into food. And how do they get in food? They get in there because of love of money. The love of money dictates agriculture, both in the organic world and also the conventionally grown world. And the way it works is they want to utilize the land. Now, organic farmers, depending on their farmer, will have various levels of consciousness. And the, the more that they have the love of money within their hearts, the more they will cut corners and do only what it takes to get there. And they'll use something called NPK. That's the acronym for three very, very familiar fertilizers or nutrients in the soil, whatever you want to call them, that go in and they cause all the food to be imbalanced. In conventional growing, they have chemical NPK. In organic, they have organic NPK that's plant-derived. But it's still the same problem because you need all of the elements in their perfect balance under pristine conditions. Most, you know, wild-crafted foods are all nicely organized with their periodic table of elements. But as we eat more and more of that food in our life, we become more and more imbalanced. Now, I've been very fortunate because I've been given access to things that are getting that out of my muscles without severe body work. It takes severe body work for a lot of people to get it out of their muscles, to get their body cleaned out of all the toxins. So when we talk about detoxification, it's a lot more than cleaning the colon and getting the lymphatic system you know, drained and all those things. It goes right to the depth of the cell of the body. Now think about one thing. What is the most deficient mineral in the body today? In number one, at the top of the list, that is the most deficient and the easiest leached out of the body is magnesium. So in the last 20 years, they've learned about this and they've studied it. And in that 20 year period, they've compiled a tremendous amount of information proving that most human disorders are caused from a magnesium deficiency. 300 and some enzymatic activities in the body depend on magnesium. They can't operate without magnesium balance. People are getting calcified. That's calcification in your muscles. Yeah, because of an imbalance of magnesium. How do you get magnesium in? Well, you eat lots of cacao, you eat lots of cayenne, you eat lots of magnesium rich foods. It doesn't help. It helps a little tiny bit, but not much. What it does is it stresses out your kidneys and your, your lower intestine, and it does a different number of things that cause the stress the body, and you only absorb a very small of magnesium, and that gets washed out very easily. And so you have to combat it. Well, two years ago, a book was published called Transdermal Magnesium Therapy, and where they showed that the best and really the only way to get magnesium balanced into your body is through the skin, pouring it in through your skin as much as you can for the first month or so. But it requires a certain type of magnesium. But I'm just giving you one example of how to detox. So you want to balance the calcium. You know, burns, bone spurs are, that's not cool. That's a toxification problem. You got nanobacteria forming, within the body, growing off that stuff, causing more problems with coral reefs and everything else. Well, as soon as you put magnesium to that area, the magnesium goes, hello, calcium. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to now restore this calcified cell that's shrunken and gone dormant, has no magnesium inside, and I'm going to put magnesium right inside that cell, soak it right in, and fire this up and get it moving, and get the whole body flowing into motion again. And the bone spurs dissolve away, and the arthritis goes away, and the muscles soften up, and the pain disappears, and the body becomes balanced. You know, they, they heart attacks, diabetes, strokes, circulation, anxiety, panic attacks, depression, all related directly to magnesium deficiency. When people start spraying magnesium chloride hexahydrate in their body, they, they become replete. They can do it within a month. Within one month of spraying transdermal magnesium therapy onto your body, with, which is magnesium chloride hexahydrate, you can become replete in one month. People don't even know about this yet, hardly at all. And so everybody's running around trying to put magnesium chloride into water and it doesn't work because it's not the right mixture, it's not the right formula, it's not the right infusion. So now it's a billion dollar industry selling magnesium supplements, but these can all be displaced by one simple thing, taking one ingredient, magnesium chloride hexahydrate, that's infused into water, spraying it on your body and going into a detox. That's one example. 